That's just gross. Well, last month I didn't pay hydro because I, I didn't think I got the bill. So did we get it or we didn't get it? I have no idea. No, no joint credit. It just felt so grim. <sighs> My name's Jillian, I'm 31 years old, almost 32, and I'm a database administrator. We love being parents, and we're having a great time. I just wish I could do more for that. My name's Orson, I work in shipping and receiving, and make $24,000 a year. I should be getting paid a lot more. I can't afford to lose my job at this point because I have kids. I guess I've just been settling. I've done everything from apply him to jobs, to beg him, to plead with him, to you know, just trying to motivate him. Yeah, just come get some pizza. I've got five brothers and sisters. In and out, in and out, doors always swinging. A few people have lived here on and off. People coming and going and growling and stuff and coming over to eat and everything like that. So I guess 130 does be about six or seven people. Even though they are our family, they're not my kids. I've told them that the only people I take care of are my kids. We'd like to own our own house. That's my ultimate dream. I've never lived in a house. I don't see that happening anytime soon. We came into marriage pretty much in debt together. I had a lot of credit card debt, credit cards with high interest rates and everything. So when we got married, we were already kind of where we are now. We live paycheck to paycheck. That's how tight it is from month to month. Usually the things that don't get paid is daycare or rent because it's kind of one or the other. It's scary and I don't want to have to think about that. Account balance. Jill solely manages the money. I received an overdue notice, but I didn't notice because I just put them in a pile and then I filed them because I'm stressed. That's it. Orson, good. we gave them a rent check, right? Yeah, I put them in the box. They haven't cashed it yet. We're going to have to go into overdraft after our rent check goes through. That's kind of crappy because we just got paid on Friday. Sometimes I feel like a sense of hopelessness that we're sinking deeper and deeper in debt and I don't see a way out of it. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks. And it's the number one reason couples split up. So now I'm making house calls. Hey guys! Hi! Are you gonna meet me up front? Definitely. Jillian and Orson live in a high cost city. Their $70,000 annual income doesn't go very far in this town. Jillian and Orson don't want to raise their kids in a low rent apartment building. Let's see if we can get them into a house. Hi! Hi. You're a long drink of water, aren't you? <laughs> Hi. Jillian. Hey, beautiful, how are you? Good. Do you wanna take me home? Absolutely. Yeah, let's go. So, most of the stuff you have is either given to your phone, right? What have you been spending your money on? I don't know. Stuff. Oh, is this your grocery list? That's the uh, items we need. Do your sisters come over here and add to this list? No. <laughs> no, but sometimes they look at what uh, we're making. <laughs> and decide when they're oh, coming yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for the money, Jillian. He won't find any. Looking for the money. Where's the money? You have a few toys for your kids, but certainly nothing that I would say you were being overly extravagant. So, again, I come back to the same question. Where's the debt from? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, well, you know what? We're going to figure it out. You are the person who takes care of all the money? I think I'm just the default. The reason I find that interesting is that you are the detail guy. Yeah. You're the planner. So why wouldn't you be good with the money, too? I think I probably would be, I guess. Are you afraid of her? A little bit, sometimes. You're an intimidating <laughs> force, girl. She doesn't think you make enough money. I know. What is with you? I don't know, I think I've just gotten... Complacent. Yes, that's the word. Well, you know, he makes less, but he makes lunch. Right. He spends less. You're really tight with your family. Very. It's nice to have that sense of family. I know you all share the community pot. The thing is, is that if it's only give and you never get to take, 
inevitably somebody feels resentful. It must really tick him off. I don't know. I don't want the confrontation aspect of it. That's why I don't voice my opinions more. It was definitely hard to hear, but I guess somewhere in the back of my mind, it's nothing I didn't know. And ultimately, it's costing this family its future. You people are a cash catastrophe. On an income of $4,600, you're spending almost $2,200 in cash. Almost 47% of your income. Like, what are you thinking? I don't even know yeah. what to say. That's a big surprise. Your cash advances from your credit cards average $811.11 a month. You start paying interest on the money you pull out of a cash advance the minute you pull the money. Remember I asked you how much debt you had? How can you not know how much money you owe? Do you never look at these bills? Rarely. Boy, what is your problem? You're prepared to let smarty pants here <laughs> dig you a hole of debt and not even know about it? When I added up what you were paying on your debt, what you were trying to repay on your debt, over $1,800 a month, which represents 40% of your income. Do you really think you can afford to spend 40% of your income on debt repayment? I wasn't really looking at the finances, so I guess I, I never really got slapped in the face with it like I did today. You're spending $2,900 a month more than you make. I don't understand. How is that possible? Credit. And if you keep it up in five years, you'll owe $263,000. No house, no business, just debt. All of the numbers that she showed me surprised me. All of them. Is this what you want? Do you Absolutely. want to be almost $300,000 in debt in five <laughs> no. years? So will you do anything I say? Yes. You look very afraid. I am afraid. Over the next month, I'm going to give you a series of challenges to do. You do the challenges to wild satisfaction, and I'll give you up to $5,000 to help you pay down the debt. You don't do the challenges, you don't get the money. You don't have the right attitude, you don't get the money, okay? <laughs> okay. Got it. Over the next few weeks, we're gonna balance your income and your spending. We're gonna see if home ownership is an option for you, and we're gonna get you communicating with each other and working together on a plan. Yes. yes. So the very next thing I need you to do is go get me your debit cards and your credit cards, because they're gone, you're gonna learn to live on cash. Go, 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 faster, 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 faster. Don't say the word. Money, 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 money. Orson's $24,000 a year gross income is equivalent to the debt Jillian has racked up with her mindless spending. I'll pay our credit card, and then I'll take it off and put it back in the account so it's there for rent. They're almost always in overdraft. You're being charged more in interest than you're making in payments. And spending money you haven't made yet is no way to build a future. Gail helped us see reality, and reality is harsh. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I'll reward them with thousands of dollars. No changes, no money. But this is way more than I thought you had. OK, I'm cutting your variable spending by 79%. You're going to go from spending $5,100 a month to just over $1,000 a month. <laughs> you will have $125 a week for food, $72.50 for transportation, $42.50 for entertainment okay. a week, $12.50 a week for clothing and gifts. <laughs> He's laughing He's at He's thinking me. to himself, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah. She didn't cut my budget, she cut your budget. Is that what you're thinking? That's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> and you will have $11.25 for other, which includes everything from your medical costs. I don't know how I'm going to do this. My son's birthday is this week. Mm -hmm. Well, I, you have $42.50 for entertainment. Well, I might have to borrow. I'm working it out. No more already. borrowing! Don't say the word borrow. And so we come to your first challenge. I thought this was it. Do <laughs> <laughs> get harder. This is a life lesson challenge. And I'm going to make you reverse roles. Orson, you're going to take over the management of the money. OK. While he's managing the money, you have to take care of the meal planning 
the grocery shopping, the getting the kids up in the morning. <laughs> I did not see that coming. I just hate getting up early. I really, really do. And to help you with your planning, because you are now going to be taking your lunch to work. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, no. I think it's nice. How come okay he with has no reminders? Yeah, he needs a reminder to stay on his budget when he goes grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. No, no, he already does that. He needs a reminder to get up and get the kids ready for school. No, oh, he's doing that too. Mm -hmm. What does he do wrong? Come on, try another one. No, okay. <laughs> I'm done. There's one more thing you have to do. You're going to have to show this food jar to your siblings and explain to them they want to eat here, that's great, but they got to put money in the jar to get food out of the kitchen. Okay. Hardest part so far has been getting up with the kids. It's stressful. I have a hard time kind of making them do what I need them to do. I actually like being aware of seeing every cent that is spent. It's just a matter of figuring out where everything is and what was taken from what to a lot to something else. I plugged in all the numbers and I seem to be in the negative. It's just not balancing. I think we need more money. What did your kids say? Oh, we <laughs> mommy cooked. <laughs> so it was hard for you this week. Staying out of it. How was hard. managing the money? It was hard as well, too. Why? Someone might have taken out some money, which threw me off. I had to get groceries get like to on my lunch and... to make dinner with, and then I left them in the fridge at work with the receipt. And she didn't tell you she'd take the money out of the food no. jar? Can you see how important communication is? Yes. And her brothers and sisters actually put money in the jars, yeah. and I didn't know about it, and I was scratching my head, saying, what's going on? They here? were, like, throwing change in to, like, get a bottle of water, so... Oh, but Orson, they got I'm it. so sorry. <laughs> you get extra points for patience. <laughs> okay, so do you want to hear what your next challenge is? Yes. Yes. This is your future plan challenge. Mm -hmm. Tell me one of the things that's in your big dreams. We'd like to own our own house. Well, that's why we're standing in the middle of a model home. <laughs> mm. We're going to see if homeownership is in the cards for you. Come with me. Coming up, will Orson and Jillian make the numbers work? Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. With low income and high debt, Jillian sometimes has to choose between paying rent or daycare. At some point, I'll trick myself. At some point, I'll look and there will be money there. And she's stuck dealing with the money all on her own. I just put them in the same box. I don't even really look at it. And I know you don't look at them. It's like this huge denial. He opens the mailbox and then he just passes me everything. The people I work with go out a lot for lunch. It's probably a $20 a day every day. You don't have any money for that crap. Moratorium and spending. No more spending. Before I give them up to $5,000 to pay down their debt, Jillian and Orson have to complete all my challenges. I really just don't know what that means to see if you could own a home. Jillian and Orson want to give their kids a better life and a better place to live. I'm going to take them through the steps to home ownership. We're going to start with the basics. The rule of thumb is that you can get a mortgage the equivalent of 30% of your gross income in terms of your monthly payment. That's one of the big numbers that lenders use to determine whether they're going to give you a mortgage or not. Another one is what we call total debt service ratio. This is your mortgage payment plus your payments on your other debt. When you apply for a mortgage, lenders not only look at the debt you have, but at the credit you have access to, to see if you qualify. You know what, we're going to put numbers to it now. In your case, 30% of your gross income is 17.10. So there's zero there. Your minimum payments on your debt right now are $667. Add these two together, you're actually at 42%. If you had 17.10 towards a mortgage, you still wouldn't get the loan because your other outstanding debt is too high. I don't even know. In reality, you can afford a house valued at $141,000, which gives you a $900 a month payment. Let's say you get your debt down to nothing. With your income, you're now able to afford a house worth $187,000. It is virtually impossible for you guys to move forward with this dream if you aren't making more money. Part of what I'm gonna do for you is send you to a career counselor. Right. Earning $24,000 a year is not going to buy a house in this expensive city. 
and it's not going to get that debt paid off either. If they want to earn up to $5,000, Orson's going to have to get his butt in gear and make a big career change. So Orson, you feel stuck. Yes, that's exactly it. Change is hard, but, it's a, but good change is great. Then there's a use of your talents. You know, you come from the distribution side and looking for a situation in a larger organization which has more structure and more function, it's going to pay you more money and it's going to be a better balance for you. Right. And, and I think you're going to be more passionate about it. I feel excited. I feel like I can move forward in my life. I've been waiting a long time for him to do something he's happy with and make more money. I want to help him in any way that I can. I'm good on the computer. Anything that he wants to do to try and find a job. How was your week? Good. He's Very good. good. And you went to the, the career, career council, council, yeah. I never really thought about what he talked about. Right. And it just opened up a lot more. Yeah. I have a scrap. <gasps> I found articles that would help us about, like, calculating what mortgage we could afford yeah. and stuff like that. So you're building your own resource guide. Yeah. Right. Fabulous idea. Aren't you smart? You get extra points for that. So are you wondering why we are in an art studio? Yes, we are, actually. That's because it's time for your relationship rescue challenge. You're going to have to work to create something together. A little bit of creativity for you. Lots of opportunity for you to practice communicating. <laughs> Coming up, is Jillian ready for what I have to say? Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Jillian and Orson want to do more for their kids and just pay the daycare bills. So how much more now is daycare? It's like twice? Twice twice. And we weren't paying it on time before. Because you guys really want to own a home. Yes, we really do. So why do you keep letting the money drift away then? Orson has taken steps towards a big career change. There are certain areas that I never thought I'd lo of looking into that now seem like a possibility. They're on the same page when it comes to their finances. Now they're going to have to work together on this challenge to earn up to $5,000. I'm thinking of plate, because you mentioned plate before. I'd like thinking. something on the table. Yeah, a plate would be perfect. So I'll usually give you a hunk of clay. You can roll it on the canvas. And just the weight of your hand. Nice. Uh, just to smooth it out and connect, just to connect them together. Don't overthink it. But then if I you. hate it, then it's my fault that I hate it. I have to approve it before you put it in. <laughs> that looks like a tapeworm. <laughs> Are you making fun of everything I'm doing? Or? No, I just find that funny. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Are okay, you ready? Yep. Oh, cool. Wow. <laughs> I like it. It's very us. <laughs> so the plate is just beautiful. How did you feel doing it together? It was fun. I felt like we fought fun. too much. <laughs> well, we but always do that fun. thing, but it always yeah. works out well in the end. That's good. Yeah. Happy the, with the end result of the last four weeks? Yes. Definitely. Yeah. We could pay rent and daycare now. And <gasps> we have money in the bank. I know! <laughs> so does that mean you're going to stick with the program? Absolutely. When I got here, you were overspending by about $2,900 a month mm -hmm. and headed to over $260,000 worth of debt. Things were looking pretty crappy. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. Mm -hmm. In your budget, I have set aside $1,600 for debt repayment. You do that, and you will be totally and completely debt-free in 12 months. One year? Really? Oh my god. Your budget also has $300 set aside for savings and $150 set aside for emergencies. Wow. When the debt is repaid in one year, if you take the $1,600 and put $1,000 in your home down payment plan, in five years, conceivably, you would have $64,000 oh, to put down on a house. <laughs> yeah, wow. And when you were ready to retire, you'd have $1.5 million for oh, retirement. How easy that was! <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, that's amazing. You're so young. It just felt so grim. <gasps> you have Great. so much time on your side. I just didn't know that it would be this, and I didn't know it would be this good, that it would feel that exciting and that. I'm very thankful. So this month, we balanced your income and your spending. Mm -hmm. We talked about whether home ownership was even an option for you, and we got you communicating and working together. 
to achieve a goal that you wanted to achieve. Okay. I think we had really good. I'm I so proud of, of just the fact that we're talking. The future looks good, doesn't it? Mm. Looks really good. Do you know I have all the checks in here? But you know what? Because I want this debt paid off, I'm going to give you five. <laughs> <laughs> Okay? Oh my goodness. Because you deserve it. Wow. I'm shocked. I watched the show and I knew that this was going to be the end result, that we'd get something. It was really, really fun to do. And this was like a bonus. But that's not all. Because you've been fabulous. You worked hard. You changed, fundamentally changed the way you were managing your money and the way you're living your life. I have for you a two-year subscription to the Science Center. Oh, wow. So oh, you wow. can take the children and have a wonderful time. Oh, my God. But I also have in here for you a weekend away at a lovely hotel. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Can I hug you in? Yeah. Oh, Thank you again. You're welcome. That's so cool.